What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft add-on download video. Today I have a really cool menu template. So when you guys spawn, when you add this to your world, I've done everything for you. You will get this item that you cannot drop. You can't drop it no matter what. It's locked in your inventory. It's locked. You won't lose it when you die. So pretty much you'll always have it and every person that joins will always have this item. So it's really neat. Uh, so basically in first person, there's an animation that plays. This animation is the custom menu that you see on screen. Uh, it's really neat. So you have seven slots. The main menu, I guess you would say, is the totem. And then it goes into a six wheel. So if I sneak, you can see that it says clicked. And if I click the item rather than sneak, it will rotate. So I went ahead and gave it where they're all different textures. So now you can see I have a new item in my hand. If you want, you can change them all to be the same item, so that way it looks like you only have one item. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. I left everything in this template so that you could easily understand, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit, so I'm kind of in a windowed on the desktop, as you guys can see this around the screen. But basically, if you click, you could go through all of these wheels here, and it'll go back to the main one. But if I'm on the bed and I click, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then of course, if I go back to the normal one, it's regular clicked. So you have seven custom commands on side of an interactable GUI through animations and animation controllers. Let me kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So other people can't see this. It's only in first person and it's multiplayer friendly, which is pretty neat. So if you get off, yeah, you can do that. You can't throw it down. But if I click it and say I want to keep it on heal, say the potion's a heal command, I could sneak and heal up or something. Run off, do whatever. I'm getting low on there. So come back. You know, I want to check out the info for the server or something. You know, you guys could come up with cool stuff. Now I did leave inside of the resource files a empty emoji wheel. So instead of having like the Minecraft ax and everything, I know the color messed up. It's a little darker um, rather than this one. Uh, I messed up, but it's just a template. You guys can fix it. I wasn't expecting y'all to keep this original wheel anyway, but you could change this however you want, but it, it's, uh, meant for you to like change however you want. So let's take a look. Inside of the resource files, I did leave a um, blank emote wheel. So you guys don't need those icons. You could put whatever you want there. Um, but inside the resource files, basically it's an animation. I changed a bunch of stuff. Like you don't need everything that I have here. This is more for beginners so you can see what I'm doing and kind of use it if you want. It works either way. Big brain add-on makers will change up some of the stuff, but still, it's a cool concept. I recommend you guys at least download it and try it out with a couple different things. So first off, we are running animations. The animations is what the wheel is, so each one of these is a slot on there. Then we have, of course, the textures. Don't worry, inside of the resource, I'll have another one called empty, and that'll be the empty textures. But for this one, we're gonna go to the models, and you could see the wheel with the highlighted selected slots. That's how we're doing that. Uh, and basically, that's it on that. That's the only thing important besides, you know, of course, the models and you can see the GUI screens. So I made it pretty easy to follow along. Named them A through G, I think. And then on the behavior file here, uh, what we're going to look at is inside of the functions. So the only thing you need to do is go to these commands. So command one will say, say clicked. So right here it says, say clicked. Change this to whatever you want. You can give the player... Uh, slowness and or an info well, basically whatever you want that command to be when they're hovering over in that menu area this is what you would edit so I have set it up for its command which is the center one on the wheel one two three four five six just like in the video how it said six so you know every time I sneak it would play one of these commands these up here leave these alone these are basically giving and replacing the new item with the lock inventory and keep on death. So that way you never lose it. And then of course we have the start right here. And this is just giving everybody that ever joined your game one and you're pretty much set after that. So you're welcome to use this however you want guys. Make some really cool menus, make some cool add-ons with this. I can't wait to see a bunch of really cool stuff coming out for the community. If you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. If you make really cool add-ons, I'm looking for some like top 10 top fives and just showcase videos in general i would love to showcase a lot of your guys's cool things so yeah leave those in the comments join the discord link will be in the description as well huge shout out for majestic butter and wilco for helping me make this as well they got some big brains join the discord guys it's super fun i'll see you guys in the next one i'm dick on black rose and i'm out